2018 is the centenary of Leonard Bernstein's birth. To mark this, South Bank Centre is staging one of Bernstein's most celebrated and challenging pieces. We went on a journey to explore who Bernstein was. And why he wrote this work. The incredible effect they had on audiences at that time. And its relevance to audiences today. Welcome to Bernstein's Mass. <laughs> years ago Leonard Bernstein as a young man he always was fighting for the invisible voice the neglected voice the communal spirit and mass represents that story and so it feels utterly timely to put this magnificent musical piece in front of people again when I was growing up um, in an obscure village in Scotland I knew the name Leonard Bernstein you know I could sing there's a place for us, or tonight, or New York, New York. One afternoon I turned on the television when I was about 14, and he was talking about music in his Norton Lectures from Harvard University. And that was for me a literary life-changing moment because I'd never heard anybody talk about music like that in a way which really said music is connected to the world as it is. Music, it, music is connected to all these big intellectual ideas, but it's also visceral and it's passionate. The music that Bernstein produces makes me feel a sense of relief. I, I believe that he is speaking for me and, and for others. It makes me feel like I should be in this world and I shouldn't just be left out. I think Bernstein definitely thinks that we matter. With Mass, I think he's trying to say that even though we're all different, we can come together. No one's higher or lower than anyone else, I'm all equal. I had the chance to watch him, not only as a musician, but as a human being. Being around him helped me form an idea of what I hope to be as a citizen of the world, you know, not just as a, a musician. You know, he was one of those people that, when he was speaking to you, you were the only one that existed. I wish he were around today because we need him even more. To understand why Bernstein wrote the piece, we explored what was happening in 1960s America. JFK was a hero because he gave hope to everybody. Back then, JFK and just dreams for everyone, same as Martin Luther King. Protesting for civil rights. It was a time that people wanted things to change. Sadly, he got assassinated too. People would start to protest shortly after. America at the time was in crisis. Kennedy had been shot. The Vietnam War was raging. The Cold War was still raging. People still were in dread fear that the world would come to an end. Young people were in revolt. It felt like we were going through a social revolution. It felt that the older generation had let the younger generation down. The young people in America were, were very passionate. It's not the people who started this war, but it's the future generation that's actually dying. The fact that you have nothing to actually do with it and you can't control anything that's going on, to know that everything has pretty much fallen apart right in front of you. It terrified everybody there. And I'm sure if I was there, I'd be terrified too. The very particular reason why Bernstein chose the form of the mass, it was a commemoration of John F. Kennedy. It represents a tussle between conformity and what is expected in society, uh, represented by the seated chorus who, who sing in Latin and represent, if you like, church and state and things as they should be, and the street chorus who represent rebellion and questioning of the things that are and saying that there really should be a better way to move forward. The celebrant is at the centre of that. None of us knew about the Catholic Mass, and so we visited St George's Cathedral to find what the purpose of the Mass is for the Catholic. The Catholic Mass is really goes down to the, to, the, to the core of the identity of the Catholic. The highest form of prayer and sacrifice that will be offered to God is the Mass. The role of the priest in the service of the Mass is the one that leads the people in their act of worship. And also in that dynamic is the coming together, the congregation. I generally have a positive feeling about Mass. It's a very like ultimate form of prayer. The authority of the church is ultimate to Christians. Having common values and having feelings that you share with people can make you connect to them. If you really don't trust anyone, 
then your heart, life is going to be a whole lot harder than if you do. What happens when authorities get it completely wrong? I'm not quite sure about what to think of the future yet. I'm very doubtful of a lot of things and I don't really know what's going to happen next. We also wanted to know how and why Bernstein had used the mass. Using the medium of the mass to express something happening within the society. It mirrors our own, our own reaction to authority. It mirrors how we see the church. It mirrors how we see government. It mirrors how we see our community. And it's you know, addressing several issues, both contemporary of its time and even now as well. What happens in the mass is basically a journey from the celebrant, who is the central character, being in charge of things to a total breakdown when he is no longer in charge of things. And in the end, he has a sort of breakdown. And at the very, very end of the piece, there's a kind of a moment of sort of hopeful going forward. And for me, it's all about what happens when we get together. So how can we use a sense of togetherness and community to create um, harmony as we go forward? And the themes of the piece generally being about conformity or rebellion, you know, how you challenge authority, are represented by the fact that in the music, he is using many, many different musical styles. Bernstein was bringing together a whole range of voices of young people from different communities, deliberately diverse, deliberately musically eclectic. Music, if you like, representing the many sounds of the world, the many tastes of the world. Bernstein has a lot of different types of music. All of the different elements of the mass were different genres. He is saying music is music. Good music is good music. And that's the end of it. And we shouldn't have any cultural divide. He was very much of the Duke Ellington philosophy. There are two kinds of music. You know, there's good music and bad music. And that's all. When the mass begins, we hear all these different sort of vocal things coming out. And they're, it's in all different keys, polytonal. And then it goes to what he calls simple song, which is, you know, guitar, acoustic guitar, and this beautiful melody. It couldn't be more simple. I mean, it's so fantastically brilliant to me. It's amazing. This is about music, the ability of humans to make something together creatively. That's where you find harmony. I think there are so many contemporary echoes. This is a piece for now. For me, I, I think I'm more like the street chorus because I, I want to ask questions. Why is there a sense of one? person that is above everyone. If we ask questions, we can unlock answers inside of us. A lot of people still stand up for equal rights. It's still an issue that still affects the society now. All those marches that have been going on, they're not trying to promote only Black Lives Matter, they're saying all lives matter. A silent hour. I think it's uh, powerful that uh, young people are using their voice. If they're going to change something, it's going to be our future. The children and kids are the, the new generation. The, the people that are going to make a difference in the world. The street chorus, they want peace and they want it now. Give us peace, give us peace now. Don Anobis Pachem. Don Anobis Pachem, yeah. Give us peace, give us peace. The celebrant can't handle it anymore. The stress of being expected as a leader to lead your people, even in times of great upheaval, it's too much for one man, as it was, you know, too much for what was being put on Kennedy. Their people are relying on them to solve all the problems of the world. I think that this character is saying, I don't know how to inhabit this idea of total wisdom, total knowingness, and how can I, and nor should I. It's a dialogue between, if you like, the mass and the leader about what real leadership looks like, and the resolution is that it looks like a harmony. And it's a piece about, um the human condition and the human journey. Um, and that's really a timeless concept, right? I think what is fascinating about Bernstein as a composer is that he always brings his work to a state of terror, a state when some kind of union, some kind of framework is about to dissolve, momentarily dissolves, and then musically, he suggests, but there is a moment after that. There is a moment when this pain can bring a, a tranquility, a catharsis, uh, and out of catharsis comes pity and then maybe peace. He, he can't let go of a belief 
in humankind and the potential. I think mass is based around hope and heroes and everything you should look up to and believe in. Being a leader isn't necessarily easy and organizing thing isn't easy, but it's not always just down to you. There are so many people that just want to take over the world, but it's not possible. Everyone will always have their say. I think nothing really has changed from the 60s, 1960s, but in 2018, we all have the rights to figure out what our world is going to be like in the future. If Martin Luther King didn't stand up for civil rights, you know some of us may not be here today. In mass, there's a lot of different little stories that tell the story of other people. No one is perfect, and yet everyone can still come together to make something that is almost perfect. I believe art and music can definitely make a difference to the world. Everyone's got music in them, they just don't know how to express it. They always have a part in music. I think that art is one of the most important things. I think art can make a difference in the world. I think it already has. I think even when we planned this production two years ago, we couldn't quite have foretold how relevant it was going to feel. I think when it comes to be performed in April in the Royal Festival Hall, it's going to be very close to our hearts. And I hope it's going to help us in some way to make sense of the world, which is in the end what art is all about and what Bernstein was all about. We want the audience to resolve to be part of what Bernstein's project was, which is to make a fairer world. Bless him, to bless the Lord, I will sing his praises while I